Hello everyone. Now we will start with descriptive statistics. Descriptive statistics is a branch of statistics in which we will basically summarizes the raw data into a meaningful number that can be either mean, median, mode, standard deviation and so on. In the previous lecture, we have learned about parametric and non-parametric distribution. As we have seen, as we had seen that parametric distribution usually include normal Gaussian or bell-shaped distribution. That is, it is a distribution dependent. So if there is any outlier present in our sample, that would going to affect our value. Like if if one of the if one of the statistics measure is parametric then the addition of any outlier would cause a change in its value change in its value drastically whereas in case of non parametric test it is not affected by outliers much so it must be a more robust method so with this we will start with type of descriptive statistics it can be of two types measure of central tendency and measure of dispersion in case of measure of central tendency we will try to find out the middlemost value of that data middle value of that data it can be the mean median mode percentile we will discuss one of all these uh, statistics in detail next one is measure of dispersion it is basically how much our data is dispersed so it includes variance standard deviation skewness skewedness and so on so with this we will first start with the mean mean in case of mean we will basically do the average of all the values so the formula for this uh, mean is usually sum of numbers divided by the number of samples mean could be of three type arithmetic mean geometric mean or um, harmonic mean we will discuss uh, all these three type with the help of an example suppose we have a data we have a data in which there are three numbers one three and five first we will calculate the arithmetic mean of this arithmetic mean is sum of all numbers sum of all numbers divided by number how much now how much samples are present so it would come out to be one plus three plus five divided by three number of samples are three so it is 9 by 3 so arithmetic means come out to be 3 in case of geometric mean what we have to do we have to multiply all the values like 1 multiply by 3 multiply by 5 and the number of values like 1 2 3 there are 3 sample so we will take cube root so it comes out to be 5 3 the 15 and the answer would be around 2.466 for calculating the cube root you can do just um, an estimation like cube root of 2 8 would be a cube root of 2 and next number 3 27 would be a cube root of 3 so 15 comes in between 2 and 3 so it value must be around 2.5 so we can even do estimation we can even do guesswork so the next would be harmonic mean this would be the third type this would be number of samples divided by 1 by x1 plus 1 by x2 plus 1 by x3 and so on so our numbers 1, 1, 3 and 5. So it would be 3 divided by 1 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 5. So it comes out to be 15 plus 5 plus 3 divided by 15 is equal to 3 into 15 
divided by 23. So the answer would become a full wave 1.956. So these are the three values, three ways to calculate our mean. One is arithmetic mean, another is geometric mean, and third one is harmonic mean. One more thing is important as we can see if our sample is 1, 3, comma, 5, and if our sample is 1, 3, comma, 50. So in this case, the mean, arithmetic mean, come out to be 1 plus 3 plus 5 divided by 3. 9 by 3, which is 3. In this case, it comes out to be 54 divided by 3. 17. So, by a single outlier, by the addition of an outlier, like 5 changes into 50, this would cause the mean to be changed by drastically. So, as outliers causes the mean to be changed drastically, so we will call it a parametric statistics. We will see um, we will see the same thing in median that whether any outlier affect much in the median value or mode values or not. One more, uh, there is one more formula like if suppose we have given the frequencies of different value. So in that case, if our xi is 1, 3 and 5 and they have mentioned us about the frequency like this is repeated two times one time and one time so in this case so as to calculate our mean we will first multiply frequency with the number two ones are two three five then we will sum it off then so the mean would come out to be sigma fi xi divided by sum of frequency. So this is 10 divided by sum of frequency which is 4. So the answer is 2.5 is our frequency. These are all the methods of calculating our mean. Next we will see this see the formula so as discussed arithmetic mean is sigma xi divided by n and these means are very much affected by outliers as we have seen the example where we have replaced 5 with 50. this is the formula for geometric means multiplication of all the terms to the power number of terms in case of harmonic mean this is the formula as discussed Next one is the median. Median is basically a non-parametric test. So it must not be affected by our outliers. So we will see this after we will see the one example. So basically what is the median? Median is basically the middle most value. Like 50% of samples are on one side and 50% of samples are on the other side. We will see one of the examples. Like we have 10 observations. We have n is equal to 10. And our observations are 0, 1, 2, 5, 10, 9, 12, 15, 20, and 21. So the first and the most important step in median is to arrange the data in ascending order. If this is because we have to tell the middle most value. So if our data is random, we won't able to tell the middle most value. So when we arrange the data in ascending order, this is like somewhere like this. 15, 20, 20, and 21. Now we will calculate the number of observations, which is 10. We will see the formula for our So now we will 
so now we will see the formula for so now we will see the formula for our uh, median so the median would be the middle most value so the formula would be if there are there are two cases if there are odd number of samples or if there are even number of samples so in case of odd number of sample if we have five samples suppose our mid value would be uh, our mid value would be to one side like uh, uh, like to one side and to another side and the mid value is our um, median like suppose we have these five values only so in this case this 1 and 0 is on one side and 5 and 9 is on another side and 2 is our middle most value so 2 is our median for example if our if there are odd number of observation our value come out to be n plus 1 divided by tooth observation like if we see here the first five values that we suppose that there are just five values so total five value plus one divided by two value that is third third value must be our median so one two three so two must be our median whereas in case of whereas in case of our uh, this sample where we have 10 we have 10 n value so here there are even number of value so the formula come out to be n by 2 and n by 2 plus 1 value so n by 2 10 by 2 is fifth value and 10 by 2 5 plus 1 sixth value so we will take fifth and sixth value average like 1 2 3 4 5 6 so 9th and 10th we will take 9th and 10th value and we will average it off it comes out to be 19 divided it comes out to be 19 divided by 2 which is around 9.5 so this would be our median so so if odd number of values are there we will take a formula n plus 1 by tooth observation is our median if there are even number of values n divided by 2 and other one is n divided by 2 plus one observation we will average these two values to obtain our medium initially we have said that basically median is a non-parametric stage so we have to prove that it is not affected by outlier so for this we will see the sample 0 1 2 5 and 9 suppose we have this sample the n is equal to 5 so as it is odd so median value is 5 plus 1 divided by 2 that means third value is our median therefore 2 is our median in this case in this case if we change one of our value like 9 with 90 here also number of values are 5 odd so 5 plus 1 divided by 2 third value that means 2 is our median so the median value is not affected by the outlier so this is a non-parametric test third most would be our mode mode is the value which is repeated maximum time in our sample that means the value which has the highest frequency is our mode 
so the node must not be in the center of the distribution it is used basically for the discrete data there are two possibilities that suppose one value there are two values which are repeated two times we will see this so one concept come unimodal and bimodal we will see this concept with the help of an example like we have our values 0 1 2 1 1 2 9 6 5 these are our values so the frequency of 0 is 1 frequency of 2 is 2 frequency of 1 is 3 9 is repeated one time 6 is repeated one time is repeated by one time so one is repeated maximum number of times three so mode would be one whereas if in the same data we will add one two so in this case the second the two value is also repeated three times so one and two both have the highest and the same frequency so there would be two modes which is called as bimodal distribution whereas in this case the value is repeated the, the value is repeated uh, one the one value has highest mode frequency so it is called as unimodal we have to uh, we have to uh, <coughs> so now we will see basically how the graph of mode looks like if the middle most if the maximum frequency if we have value to the plot frequency the value which have highest most frequency is the mode so this value would be our mode as in this case only one value has a higher mode frequency so it is one unimodal and whereas in this case two value this value and this value has similar frequency so it is called as bimodal thank you